Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to add the intersection widget inside another intersection widget any levels deep in spite of the fact that something like that is officially impossible. You ain't going to need Elementor Pro or any kind of third party plugin, it's all about the copy paste. Just like many of you, I believe many of you, I was quite often frustrated by the fact that nesting sections in Elementor works only one level deep and that particular one level is the intersection widget itself which is quite often insufficient. So I decided to take a look at the code behind the editor in order to find the answer. So let me demonstrate what I have found. First, I'm going to create two sections. My first section is going to have only one column inside of which I'm going to add the instance of the intersection widget. In order to depict multiple levels of the intersections, I'm going to add different background color to every intersection widget instance. If I now try to drag and drop another instance of the intersection widget to the column of the existing intersection, Elementor won't let me do that. I can drop another instance atop or below the existing one, but not inside. Same case scenario if I try to copy paste the widget. So it's literally impossible to override something that's been disabled in a core code of Elementor. The section number two is going to be used more like a helper section. You're going to figure out what I mean by saying helper section in a minute. So I added two column sections, each of which is going to house a different number of intersection widgets. The first column has only one instance of that widget, while the second one has two. No need for the background color here. Now the trick is very simple. It's based upon the fact that Elementor allows you to copy paste the column with all the content, including the intersection widget itself being a part of the content. So I'll simply copy the column that houses the intersection widget from the section number two and paste into the existing intersection widget of the first outer move section. And there it is, the intersection widget inside the intersection widget. As simple as that. And all I gotta do now is to get rid of the empty column. If needed, of course, it's not a must, it depends on what you are up to. But I'm gonna remove it and add a few more intersection widgets, one inside another. As I said earlier, every child intersection will have a different background color, so you can clearly see the layers of intersections. I've seen a few plugins or add-ons that let you do the same, but I thought it's much cheaper resource-wise to overcome the problem in a more efficient way. If you ask me how many levels deep I can do that, well, I'm not sure I know the answer, because I tried like 20 levels deep with an intention to see whether something like that is capable of maybe crashing Elementor, but everything worked just fine. However, there is one minor flaw that I certainly wanted to mention as well. What you cannot do with, with any intersection widget being nested any level below the initial one is that you cannot duplicate nor copy paste intersection widgets. If I try to do that, Elementor knocks me off every time. Same way as if I'm trying to duplicate or copy paste the intersection widget inside another intersection widget. So that's why I created the column with the two intersection widgets inside my helper section. Okay, it's with a reason to be able to copy the column that already has two intersections whenever I need to. Okay, and this is actually how I can easily override that problem. Everything else works just fine. Even if, if you take a look at the navigator, you'll see that all the instances of the intersection are properly nested and registered. You can just try to click any of them and you'll see that the navigator object relationship is properly established. You can normally, of course, drag and drop any widget from the editor to the preview and place it inside any of the intersection widgets regardless is depth level. Copy paste of the widgets also works across all the levels. I haven't noticed anything strange going on here, so if you, if you notice something strange, please comment below. At the end, feel free to visit my Gumroad shop, the link is in the description of this video. Find something for yourself, because this is how you can help me keep this channel alive. Please share this video if you think it may be useful for the Elementor community. Stay well, stay safe, peace and love.